Hello there. Now, the sun was out a second ago, but it seems to have gone away. So I guess we'll just continue with this video. But there are an abundance of speeders in Star Wars. And not just Star Wars, but Lego Star Wars have created so many speeders. In fact, I've created so many custom minifigure scale speeders. And you may remember the Bad Batch Shuttle, which is one of only two Lego Star Wars sets for the Bad Batch show that we've got to date. There's definitely got to be a Season 3 set on the way. Lego just can't afford to miss out on it. But the Bad Batch show will come with two speeders. It came with Crosshairs Bark Speeder, which I've already uploaded instructions onto Rebreakable and it has its own video if you want to watch that. I'll leave it in the description below. But the Marauder also came with Hunter's Bike, which was the size of a Bark Speeder. We know it's definitely not the size of the Bark Speeder from the show. And we've now seen it twice. Not only did Hunter use it in episode four of season one, but Slip also used it in episode 7 of season 2 to get away on Coruscant. So it's made a cameo. Will it show up in season 3? I sure hope it will. As it would just be continuing an easter egg that's gone through all of the series. But today we will be mocking this, making it minifigure scale. And the outcome looks better than I could have expected. So what we have here is the original speeder that came with the set. And it is an unnamed speeder. There is no other similar bike I could find that is named across Star Wars. And it's just one of them speeders that shows up in the background. They don't give it too much of a story. But the only thing I've changed on this bike is this front slope, which I did steal for my custom one, just to give a bit more detail. But I think this speeder is way too bulky. I mean, the front panels, of course, we've seen are more like cleavers sticking out to the side than actual panels they're less angled and more of just a square panel sticking out and of course it's made for play it's going to be blown up but they also seem to have not blown up the side panels to fit with it i actually take inspiration from this exact design for my minifigure scale one as they're a lot bigger than that in compared to the speeder just look at the scale bark speeder in comparison to this speeder this is meant to be just a little personal speeder and we've got a bark speeder that it's definitely meant to be longer than it. So I have scaled it down and for the grand reveal of the minifigure scale speeder in 3, 2, 1, here it is. It does look titchy compared to it but this sticks to the scale that I had 6 plates high, 9 bricks wide and... For the width, I went with two for the main body because we know a minifigure is two bricks wide. And then just had the bit sticking out that needed to be. So, as you can see, it's a bit different to the original speeder. I've taken a few things as inspiration, like these bars that do stick out over the front. I've copied the design of this speeder, but this speeder makes them look more like blasters at the front. Whereas actually, they stick out halfway across the bars, shuffle down, and... The dish on the front I did try to recreate, in fact I had a whole different front piece and elongated it by an extra stud just to try and make it work but it just seemed too bulky, there was then too much on the front so instead of including the whole dish what I've done is included these round bits and this round 1x2 to round off the front here, ok it's not a perfect dish but you do get the mould mark from where the lego brick was created as the little hole in the top and at least it's rounded off in at least one of the dimensions so it doesn't look too bad for this minifigure scale of course i'm sure lego would probably create a new piece that we could whack in there or probably even do what i've done and bulk it up a little bit just so it's better for play rather than accuracy and as far as the rest of the speeder, as I said, I've taken inspiration for this side bit. I've used dark bluish grey rather than black. Black just seems too dark. And in some shots, because this speeder only shows up in dark settings, it does make you wonder if it's more of a dark green than a dark bluish grey or black. And that goes for the bits at the back as well. But because I used dark bluish grey on the back, I wanted to keep it consistent and went with it further forward. We've also got much much more detail on the back than legos lego went with the clip so that they could get i think it was hunter's blaster on the back or hunter's knife or some sort of accessory on the back but i went with a much more accurate look and decided to put not just the vent on the top but also the little engine that propels it forward underneath that and i think it looks a lot sleeker 
course we've got the green on top to flush out the top whereas lego tried to build up the back and again this isn't a criticism of the original one from lego really they've definitely built this better for play and it was built before they had any images because they actually put tech on the seat of the bike so i wonder if they were just handed the model of the bike now I have had to reduce some of the features from the Lego one, which if you look underneath, you can see the engine does run a bit further back with the Lego model. And they also have the front of the engine at the front, whereas I've just got this 2x4 green plate to add some more of that green because there's only really three other areas that that green shows up. Because I've got the white stripe continuing down the side and that green tile is very much hidden. But... I think I've done a good job condensing it down to size. And if we take a look at the bark speeder, this is much, much more to how the scale of the ship should be. I'm not quite sure it's perfect, but it's as close as we can get with Lego bricks, or at least as close as I can get. So let me know how you think I did down in the comments below. And definitely let me know which one you prefer. But there are some really interesting techniques here. Before we go, I'd just like to show you this side bit as we've got studs on both sides. And it's actually this bottom bar that's holding all of these pieces together. So if you would like instructions for this model, it's small enough. I can whack them up for free on Rubricable. Let me know down in the comments. But I definitely think this looks a lot better. In fact, I even have this board of images that I collected from the Disney Plus shows just to take a good look at the speeder. And you can see that I've used the average length of a person's leg, which is 80 centimeters, if you were wondering, and tried to scale up the rest of the speeder to it. Of course, the speeder's at an angle. It's not going to be perfect. But then I've used my measurements from my minifigure scale that I have made. There is another video about that. But ultimately, it's just a way to give me a coherent width height and depth between all of my custom ships no matter how big they are and all of them get compared to the size of a car so it's a very fun way to look at these models before i even start putting any bricks together and just helps keep some cohesion between all the different models i end up creating and that has given me the precise lengths for the speeder bike especially when you compare these to the size of the marauder I think it just looks that much better and a lot closer to minifigure scale. Again, the Marauder's not perfect minifigure scale. I mean, that's the dot and there's no way a minifigure's getting through that. So thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy this video and want to see more of my Lego Star Wars customs and subscribe for more awesome Lego content. And may the bricks be with you always.